So we have a three-way tie between Delaney, Alex, and Stive. Oh, shit. Stive, Alex, and Delaney will not vote. Colton, Michael, and Tegan will vote. You can only vote for one of those three options. Michael, go ahead. First vote, Alex. Second vote, Alex. Alex, fortunately a tribe has spoken. Fourth member of the jury, you made an exclamation point this time around. Tribe has spoken. Oh! oh. All right. So, for this challenge, um, you guys have five colors in front of you. I'll be saying a colored sequence. And that, so I'll be saying it to you guys what the sequence is. And then after that, I'll be saying what was the first color? What was the second color? What was the third color? And you're showing me that color that you think it is one at a time. While I'm saying the sequence to you guys before I ask you to show me, you guys can hold them so they don't blow away, but you can't like rearrange them in the order that I'm telling you, because that's just completely defeats the purpose of it. Um, so that's pretty straightforward. I'm just gonna give you a color sequence, and then I'm gonna say, okay, well, was the first color? You guys are gonna all hold up what you think it is, and the second, and the third, and once you get one color wrong at all, you're out. Whoever the last one standing wins. So I think it's pretty straightforward. Whoever wins this will have a one in four shot of winning the game. And try not to look at what someone else is doing as best you can. I know you guys are all by each other, but um, I think it, it might get complex, so. All right, y'all ready? All right, first sequence is blue, pink, green, yellow. First color. Yep, second color. Colton, you're out. Third, third color. <laughs> Third color, fourth color. All right. Next sequence, yellow, orange, yellow, pink, green. First color, second color, third color, fourth color. Scott Pink Tegan? Yeah. Okay. Fifth color. All right, you guys all got it right. Third sequence, blue, green, orange, yellow, blue. All right, first color, second color, third color, fourth color, fifth color. Tegan, is that green? Yeah. Yeah, you're out, fortunately. Ending your streak of winning immunity. <laughs> Michael, Stive, and Delaney. All right, here's the next sequence. This is gonna be the longest one yet. Green, pink, blue, yellow, orange, pink. All right, first color, second color. Delaney is out. We'll continue with the sequence though. Third color, fourth color, fifth color, sixth color. All right, Steve and Michael stay alive. Down to our fifth sequence now. All right. Orange, blue, yellow, green, blue. First color. Second color. One of you guys is right, one of you guys is wrong. Who has a one in four shot of winning immunity? Side. Oh! Side, stay oh! Let's go! <laughs> All right, so you guys will interview one by one. Here's my mother. We'll go to. <laughs> Congratulations, your first immunity challenge win, I believe, as My an first individual merch. Individual immunity challenge win. You know, I saw that, I saw him explaining the challenge, and I was like, okay, this is fairly simple. And, you know, just through random luck, I just had the right, um, like, layout of the colors, all of the sequences, not maybe not all of them, but most of them, I could just go, okay, let me look in my lineup and go do, 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 draw the lines and shit. And, oh my god i can't believe it i'm here i'm i'm not even here on my own i'm here because alex saved my butt and we got isabel out first but it's just incredible i had to do something to not so that alex didn't go out in vain and i'm quite happy right now and right now i am decapitated now oh now we have a game yeah now we have a game
I kind of threw that, not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> I swear it was orange green. All right, orange, blue. It's awkward, not gonna lie. Flame, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, you wanna have a conversation? Paul? <laughs> uh, oh. I don't know. I feel like I can trust Colton. Yeah, I know, that's the thing. I would have loved to have I would have loved to have really lost that here. <laughs> yeah. I mean it would have been more satisfying. Now it's just yeah. kinda hard. I mean I know you don't want to vote off. <laughs> if we vote off to you then then next challenge we vote off Sty. Or if Sty wins, we vote off Colton. Yeah, that's a pretty good plan. Yeah, I think, I think it's hard, but... Yeah... Otherwise, it's just gonna be... It's gonna be whoever side sides with, you know? True, true. What are you guys thinking here? Very bold call there. Oh, what's the plan I'm thinking one? I'm gonna get on. What's the plan who won? The plan, the plan was, was we were all supposed to not throw it. <laughs> <laughs> and then we did. The plan was who won. Yeah, that was the plan, not gonna lie. <laughs> we figured we had a good chance. <laughs> numbers yeah, are in our favor. I don't know what to do. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I swear to God, I don't know what to do. Any other plans beforehand, like duels, alliances, or anything? I gotta talk to people. You know, they gotta vote out one of those four, and you know, they gotta be tight enough. I mean, they ain't that tight with me, but now they're gonna have to be a little tight with me because I could help them vote whichever way they may want. Who's your preference? Because you gotta be thinking, you know, this is end game. You gotta be thinking who you want in the end. Either Tegan or Mike, I would like to go. I think they are. This the round or to the end? Hmm? To like you want oh, them? Oh, I, wa I want them to go now. Okay. Either Tegan or Mike, because they are definitely the biggest threats. Any preference of which one goes first? Not right now. All right. We'll tell. Tegan just said she won't. She's so fun. She's chilling with me. She said what? She said she won't vote for me or don't me. So me. Literally so just me. Pretty much, yeah, you. <laughs> so she said Should you. We gotta, we gotta vote. Care for some sunflower seeds. Let's have a conversation. If she makes it to if she makes it to click the jury vote, she has a chance to All right, Delaney, how are we feeling right now? A little nervous because neither Tegan and I got the immunity, so now we kind of got to decide like which of us we want to vote off because I think Michael and Colton are going to put up a fight trying to get to the last round, and we all plan on voting on Skive next. So yeah, a little nerve-wracking, but I think we can figure it out. Hey, guys. Um, that was kind of a poor showing on my part, not gonna lie. Um, our plan was that one of us four was supposed to win, and we didn't. So, it kind of got thrown off. Definitely, they're definitely targeting me, I don't know what to do. Um, might have to just accept defeat, I don't know, I gotta talk to Delaney still. I mean, you're not gonna, like, think of targeting any of the other four at all you think could be a threat? I have to vote. Can't be side. I'm probably gonna vote Mike, right? That's his name? Yeah, because you the only people eligible are Mike, Delaney, and Colton, so those are three eligible options. Yeah, I might have to go Mike, he might be the strongest competitor, not gonna lie. Is that who you're gonna campaign on to the others? I think so. Yeah, because I wouldn't just give up and accept defeat. Oh, yeah, no. I mean, that's no, like... You, think I'm defeat? you sounded like you yeah, were, no, that's why I was like, me. wait a minute. I'm gonna trick up my sleeve, even though I don't have sleeves, so we'll see. Okay. What are you telling them you have an idol? Okay, so I think we should go for Michael because he is 
like the most, I don't know. I think that's fair. Yeah. He's one of the biggest threats, literally. True. And Tegan, <laughs> she already thinks that she's gonna get out because she's won all these rounds, so she's gonna play that idol. Right. I think that's fair. Yeah. Yeah. She's gotta do what she's gotta do. Okay. I'm just glad I got mine. All right, Mike. What's happening? What's going on? Got my get back for Isabella. <laughs> So now, I mean, I don't know, it's unfortunate that I won that, both because I was in second place and also because we were planning on basically flipping them out right now, so it breaks up the alliance I have. Um, we know Delaney and Tegan are close, so I think we're going to try to vote Tegan out. Hopefully Stive goes along with that, but I wouldn't be surprised if it's me being voted off. Who do you think at this point is your strongest alliance out of the group that's left? Um, probably Colton. He's consistently voted with me, so he's probably the only player I trust right now. That's that. That was a big, big twist. That I won the immunity because that was kind of the game plan was to get him out. But I don't know. It's gonna be gonna be interesting. Still, some, a lot of strong players left to get out. So I, cool. I haven't really. I've heard a few names thrown out, but I haven't really made up my mind yet. So which two names have you heard thrown out, like two to three? Uh, pretty much, I, I've heard, besides myself, which I wouldn't hear myself, I've heard all, all three names up for grabs. So. Is there any that you're leaning like anywhere towards keeping or voting out, or? Uh, not really, as of now. I, I just gotta think. Gotta think about who I wanna do. Yeah. I mean, you gotta be thinking about the end game too. Like uh, we're getting to is this end game territory right here? Is this finale territory? So, is there anyone you're thinking about? Go, do you really want to go to the end with that you want to win against, or just in general? Uh, I think me and Michael have had a strong, strong alliance throughout. So maybe, hopefully, if we can take each other to the end. Do you think you could win against him? Uh, it, it'll be interesting. We'll see. We'll, we'll see what happens if we got to get there first. <laughs> I don't right. think so, but I think he's played a stronger game, but... I, I wish we could. We all threw. There's no way. Hold on. We drained it. We drained it. Okay. I trust Colton. I don't know. I think it's... Target's on my back. I don't know why. I mean... Figomi... Figomi's gonna be okay. Cause I have a little fucking... Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. No, you don't. We'll find out, won't we? We both have. No. Then show it to me. No, I'm not showing show it to you. Show it to me and I won't vote for you. No, I'm not showing it to you. Vote for me then. Go. Okay. I mean, who else? I'm not voting you. It sucks. It's gonna be you anyway. Win it. <laughs> yup. Yeah. I mean, Tika's a stronger player. Exactly. But then if she uses it, then she would be. I called the bluff inside. I'm willing to call the bluff again. Alright, time to drive it. I don't think she has it. Otherwise, she's going to play it. You think she can? Well, I think she may have it. Well, do you want to go with that, though? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, it's time. Looked like it was a pretty important challenge. You think if they would be voting for you if you didn't win that? Well, yeah, I, I mean, <laughs> um, it's kind of a must-win situation. I, I am incredibly grateful to be here, to be in this game still, and <clears throat> it's just... Glad I gave you another shot. I just can't believe that the stars have aligned like they have, <laughs> and I hope they continue to align, because I hope that I've shown with the, the limited wins I've had and with the the game I've been able to play and with the idol that I found, I hope I've been able to show that I actually could be a decent player at this game if given the chance. And today is that chance. Now $120 in that treasure chest down there is looking a little more possible for you. Colton, so getting down the nitty gritty now, got a lot of threats around you and yeah. yourself as well. What kind of goes in this vote in your head? Is it someone you want out that you think could be you in that? Is it someone that you just don't trust? Uh, I think at this point we're voting out based on who's, who can beat you. <laughs> Got <Sure>. it. <laughs> Is that kind of the similar thought you and Michael or what? 
Yeah, you got to think about who could win. Let's go to the jury vote. We'll get those people out of there. <laughs> so you get didn't win the challenge this time. You feel Let me break it down for y'all. Oh. You, um, if, I don't think you want one of us on the jury when you're in the final thing, because us and Amelia, we can talk, and we're going to pick, you know? So you might want to think about that. We, we've got, we'll make alliances on the jury, so. Well, anyway, Keep that in mind. Got anything to add to that? I think everybody should just look out for the player who's the biggest threat. That being said, I think it's time to vote. Delaney, you're up first. <laughs> no hard feelings, it just has to be done. I'm just, I'm nervous. I think this is gonna be my ass going home, but. We'll see if people are good to their word. I don't think that will happen, but. So what goes in this vote for you? You think who you think is gonna be uh, tough to beat at the end? Or? Yeah, I'm, okay. I'm that's, going for the. <laughs> that's what, that's how <laughs> you should who's play. Gonna, right? Who's played a much better game than me? <laughs> and hopefully we can. Hopefully we pulled it off, but I don't think so. <laughs> All, right. All right, Tegan, you feel all naked without immunity? <sighs> Not really, y'all. I'm gonna accept it if I can vote it out, but put my best effort to keep myself in here. Why I'm gonna go with Mike. It's all up to what Colton did, I think. I don't think we got through to him. You don't think you got through to Colton to vote with you guys? So. But you know what? It is what it is. Right. Kind of dominated. Did I'll very, take the win. Did very well. Most friend of the family. <laughs> oh. <laughs> There is a there is a valid point, you know. It doesn't necessarily matter if you do make it to the end. There have been instances, probably in this game, but also in the main game of Survivor. Um, some jurors will vote based on who played the best. Some will vote because they're salty or they're upset at the person that eliminated them, and they will vote against them. And it is it is a tempting offer to switch everything around to switch the plans around, but somehow, some way, I will survive another tribal council. <laughs> All right, whoever's voted off here will join the jury. This is the last time you can play in your media idol, so if you have one, now would be time to play it. <laughs> Need to bring it to you guys. I, I heard some rumors. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say it? I don't need it. No, I have no idea. <laughs> Alright, I'll read the votes. First vote, Michael. 1 0 Michael. Second vote, Tegan. 1 1. Third vote, Mike. 2 1 Mike. Two votes left. Tegan. 2 2. One vote left. Delaney, we have a tie. So, Mike, you won't vote. Tegan, you won't vote. Colton, Delaney, and Stive, you will vote. And you can either only vote for Michael. Fatiguing. I didn't really, yeah, it wasn't no. really a plan. I was telling everybody different shit. I didn't really have a plan. She straight Richie up. Richie convinced me not to give up, and I just kept, like, lying. I don't know. Yeah, she straight up told me she had an idol, and then I was like, okay, then show me, and then she didn't. And I so didn't. I knew she was lying. So, like, there was no plan. <laughs> <laughs> I think that play was to see if they could trust me, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick loyal to my initial plan. She's the biggest threat. See if we can pull off a miracle. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna do this one one more time. Do I have everybody's attention now? You do. I have an opportunity to do something really big here. Here's the re-vote. There's only three votes, so there won't be a tie this time. First vote, Michael, 1-0 one -oh Michael. Second vote, Tegan, 1-1, one, one. one vote left. Next member of the jury, fortunately their run has come to an end. You're gonna have to walk the plague. It's no one other than Tegan. Oh. Tegan. 
Played a great game. Got my family in group. Hell of a game. Keegan, unfortunately, the time is spoken. Oh. Oh. Down to four. We're going to head to our challenge right now. Right over there by the screen bags. We got it. All right, Tegan, how do you feel? You're now the newest member of the jury. Yeah, they hate me because they ain't me. Let me be honest. I, I kind of like mopped the floor with them and they were scared. And you know what? I don't blame them. Um, I tried to get something going, but you know, hopefully Delaney can go into it. I saw she didn't vote for me, so I can still trust her. Um, it's going to be interesting what we're going to do in the jury, though, because me and Amelia, um, are probably gonna vote for the same person, so let's see what we can do. Yeah, love to see it. You played a great game, Tegan. Thank nice you. job this time. <laughs> What's the reasoning between the two? I think just sticking with the plan. Right. I didn't buy the plan at first. I thought she had an idol, that's why I did that, but shit. You ready? <laughs> or less. All right, this challenge is gonna be pretty simple and could end very quick. So there's these things called stepping stones in here. It's pretty much a balance challenge. There's gonna be two for each of you guys. So pretty much you're gonna line them up and you're gonna balance on them with your feet. You can go barefoot, you can go with your socks, you can go with your shoes, whatever you wanna do. Whoever stays on the longest wins immunity. Guaranteed a one in three shot at winning this game. Twist, we're having a final two, not a final three. Which we had planned the whole time. <laughs> so that's what we'll be doing here. Um, if only one foot's in there, you're still alive. Just once you fall off, you're off. So you can keep two on, but if you end up only being with one to keep yourself alive, you can do that. So you guys want to stretch out a bit and relax for a second, you can. And All right, you guys can get set up now. I would start from two if I were you. Three, two, one. Challenge on. Delaney's out. Who wants it? Guaranteed a shot in the final three. There will be a final two though. Ah. Mike's out. Stive is cold. Hey. Wins immunity. Cold going with that one yes, leg. One footer. Damn. There for like so long. Oh. I was trying to put it. When I was trying to do it, I was. It feels good. I was way better on one foot. That's why I'm like, I'm like, I just do one foot, foot right from the get-go. Is that what you did? Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Because like I was like this, I was wobbling the whole time, and then. Yeah, Colton, you did a bold strategy there. Yeah. Paid off. Colton, taking that huge dub. How do you feel? Bold uh, strategy, by the way. Uh, you know, it was had to try try something different. First first challenge I won and. Feels good. Yeah. Let's get in the final three and see what happens. Now, obviously, at this point in the game, I mean, you don't really know what the hell is going to happen. Yeah. How are you feeling? I feel good. I think. I don't know. I think we. Let me rephrase that. Anybody that you think you can trust more than someone else? Um, I think I, I like to think I can trust Michael just since we've been together from the start, and I, I think I, I think I can. I think me and him have been playing being honest to each other, seeing seeing it through with each other, so I think I can trust them. him. We started together, the other two on left are started on the other tribes, so they're a little, <laughs> little backstabbing opportunity there from them, so that's what I'm worried about. <laughs> I don't know, I mean, I, I wish I did better that challenge. I feel like, you know, being the second Boat getter last time, there's a target on my back. Maybe I go out, but I'd like to get one of the style of Delaney this time. Any preference? Um, I mean, Delaney has friends I might vote for, but I feel like Stive's been a stronger player, so I'm gonna be Stive. Do you think that the final two thing changes any of your plans, or? No. I think that's. I'll just keep going with who I want. Which is? Um. Well, just with like eliminating the players I feel like are stronger or have a chance at like getting votes. It's right now like Stive. And then Colton's been loyal to me as an ally. Um, but I mean, now he's going to challenge. He has that on his resume. So we'll see. I don't know. What are you thinking? 
going with friends on the jury, but like I won't. In theory, they shouldn't go for her just because they're friends. <laughs> like she isn't that much. I mean, do we vote Stye? Because he's hard to trust. You have to figure like there's yeah. gonna be another set of votes. Be someone that could backstab. Yeah, I think. And with him being like in Davy Jones' locker, all that, <laughs> I feel like he has like a good story to tell if yeah. he makes it to the jury vote. Yeah, I think. I don't know. I think. I think we go side, and then and then going after. Hopefully, one of us two wins the next one, and then we can just yeah. knock it off. <laughs> I think so. He is weird. Yeah. 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 No, we can't get cold. Yeah. But we'd rather try to keep some sterling bodies, so we're definitely gonna try to team up. Yeah. So. so. And I would hate for like a 2v2, another tie. So. That may be your best bet. Yeah. So we just go and try to put some and then it should be good. Yeah. Yeah, it is what it is. Shit, there's only four of us left. I can't believe I made it this far. I know. I have made it this far. I know, me too. Especially since I'm horrible at most of these games. Yeah. Made it here. Yeah. Congratulations. Thanks, you too. Uh, I don't know what's going on in the minds of the two tall individuals, but if they're gonna honor what I did for them in the last tribal council, perhaps we could just... I'll just go for Delaney and just go three guys in the final three, but I'm not sure if they're thinking something else. In all honesty, if we can't get cold, Mike Stock is certainly the biggest threat here. So, so you're leaning more towards guy final three, or are you leaning more towards taking Mike out? I guess I need to go talk to them and figure that out. I'm thankful I made it this far. All right, Delaney, how are you feeling? How are you feeling after the challenge? Uh, I was super nervous since like Tegan kind of carried with the challenges when it came to our group. And as anybody could see, I kind of failed on the last one immediately. So yeah, the challenges are my like struggle spot, but I'm hoping that I can team up with some people and try to not get myself out. With the numbers being limited, what's kind of your wished outcome? Like who you think you're gonna be voting for during this round? I I think uh, either Michael or Stag, it's just depending on what people want to do. I hope that they're not going to team against me though, that's a huge possibility. We got our full jury now. We got Amelia, Isabella, Maddie, Alex, and Tegan. Two more people will still be joining them. We're having a final two. Those seven will determine who wins this game in 120 bucks. Hold it. The one foot strategy works. How you feel, Nate? First win of the day. First win. First community win. Hey, got to step up when it counts. I think I did on the one pull. I Mike. may have been clowned for that strategy block. <laughs> Mike, how are you feeling, man? Uh, I'm, I'm disappointed, you know. I mean, I'm a little nervous. Um, not winning beauty there. And I gave some votes last time, but we'll see. Stad, you're up. You could be voted off here. How are you feeling? You don't have that immunity this time. I mean, um, so that was also a must good situation, and unfortunately, I was the last person to fall off, or hold one, and that's the last thing I do in this season, then so be it. <laughs> Sorry. Blaney, <laughs> last one out of the Tegan front pack to still be alive. Well, I just want to say there was an unfair advantage to the balance thing, because everybody had bigger feet than me. <laughs> 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 they had bigger bodies. Yeah. <laughs> it's not the platform is bigger for your foot. I just there, really yeah. Yeah. It was like a, on a slant, but yeah, I'm nervous. Um, I feel like all eyes are on me, literally. <laughs> <laughs> Did you 
you try to do any persuading? If you think your name might be on the block, did you give me ultimatums? I hope everybody stays true to their word. All right, let's see if that's true. Colt, you're up first. All right, so in event there's a tie here in the final four. It's going to be 1v1 versus them two in a little flip cup thing. We did it, had to do it last season. Let's see if that's the case this time. Again. All right, first vote, Stive. 1 0 Stive. Second vote, Stive. 2 0 Stive. Third vote, Delaney. 2 1 Stive, one vote left. Is it going to be a tie? Unfortunately, Stive. You're going to have to hand your torch. What a game! What a journey! I don't want to be a challenge. Stop. The tribe is spoken. Oh. oh. It was clobbering time, baby. All right. right. Played a good game. It was. But quite frankly, he's very competitive. And he's got a big chance to beat me. So got to try and get him out. <laughs> so close to getting another idol, another challenge win. If I just stood on those stupid little balancing things a little longer, I wouldn't be writing down Delaney's name for the 87th time. But, I know it's not a popular choice, according to the jury, but it's the choice that makes the most sense right now. Style. Final four. Last survivor of the Tegan pack. Yep. Outlasted them all. I'm so surprised by that. <laughs> hey, proved them all wrong. <laughs> yeah, right. I hope he finally gets out. He's been popping through this boat too many times. <laughs> all right, thank you. Yeah. Appreciate it. All right, so we got one last challenge here. Give a hand for Colton, Michael, and Delaney. <laughs> So, we're going to have one last challenge here, and whoever wins the challenge will make the decision who they want to bring with them to the final two. So whoever wins this challenge, they're in the final two and they get to pick between the other two who's coming with them to the final two. So keep that in mind. So, for this challenge, everyone's going to be starting at that table, move it back a bit. You're going to be having a balance beam, so there's going to be four things that you guys just did. It just says a balance beam instead. You're going to be going on the balance beam. If you fall off, you got to restart and go from the beginning of it. Once you get through that balance beam, there's going to be a station where there's a bag of puzzle pieces. You just grab that bag of puzzle pieces, bring it back to the table, and you're solving that puzzle. It's 24 piece again. Not the same ones you've done, but similar concept. <laughs> <laughs> Once you guys solve your puzzle... Fire one? No, it's different ones. Once you guys solve that, that puzzle each, you're going to go back out. And you gotta do the balance beam again. Go out, there's one last station, and it's gonna be a little bit of a little word scramble that's in a bag. You grab that bag back, bring it to the table, and you're trying to solve a three word phrase. Once you have the three word phrase you think fixed, you call my name to double check, you win immunity, you get to determine who's coming through the final two that you're going against, to convince the jury. I think it's pretty straightforward. You guys have any questions? Just balance beam, grabbing the puzzle, when you grab the puzzle, balance beam back to the table, solve the puzzle, go back out to the balance beam, grab the word scramble and bag, come back to the balance beam, solve the word scramble on the table. So let's let's do it. You guys ready? Survivors ready? Go! Grab the first one, Delaney. Thanks, Richard. Make sure you guys got all your pieces. Once you solve this, you can head back up to grab your word, word scramble. That's going to be a three word phrase. Delaney, go. Delaney's 
Don't doubt her! Don't doubt her! Get that $120. Oh, that's a good one. $120 on the line. Mike's not dead yet. Got five things to do is sling this people. Three words. Go, go. Not done yet. Everyone's about to move on to the puzzle. Easy. <laughs> you have it. Ask me to check it. of using the cones and everything else use these they're a little more firmer make sure you're putting your basically your lawyers talking underneath them it's kind of in the line so you can put your words in the line and actually see how it looks that way when you're kind of playing with it oh, yeah you can use three if you want there's three for all of you on the I table would... but there's two right now they're there Fires ready go make sure you're holding on to all of your lawyers at the same time or they're either tucked otherwise they will blow away Mother Nature, not on Mike's side. What has it taken you to get here? What were the odds it took for you to get here? Find the odds, it's hard to do in a game like this. Definitely pay attention to what I'm saying. I know. Delaney's overcome a lot of odds today. <laughs> I think Colton has too. I think Mike has as well. <laughs> May the odds ever be the <laughs> The odds aren't easy to do well in this game. The odds are not easy. Those odds are not easy. All odds are hard to overcome. All odds are very hard to overcome. <laughs> Three words. All odds in this game aren't all the same odds. All the odds can't be in your favor. All the odds cannot be in your favor forever. The odds are going to be better for you if you win this. You've got a 50-50 chance of taking on 120 fucking buckaroos. I think all odds are not the same at all. All odds are not the same. <laughs> Against all odds are hard to overcome. Who's Mike's here? moving some shit around. He might have been listening to me. Oh -ho! He might have been listening to me. Come on, prison, Mike. <laughs> what can we do, it, Mike? <laughs> oh, I got it. I said I got it too. I said I got it. Oh, <laughs> Wins immunity. Wow, that was very close.
Congratulations, Congratulations Mike. Congrats. All right, if you want to. Yeah. So, Michael, you won the last challenge. Had to give them some clues to get it going a bit. They beat that with the wind messing up with it, but I think overall is a very good challenge. Um, so now, Michael, you get to decide between Delaney and Colton who you think should come with you to the end, and you should get to decide who's going to be the last jury member. So keep in mind, yeah, maybe you think one of them is maybe an easier person to beat, but it ultimately comes down to whatever those people that are deciding who should go for. So, Colton, we'll have you go first. If you want to try to tell, you want to shortly tell Mike why you think he should bring you, and then after that, we'll have Delaney do the same thing. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, I think Speak loud to us with the wind. <laughs> the wind? Yeah. Wind's messing I think, up. I think since we started together, we've, we've stayed true to each other the whole time. I think I'll cross my fingers. I'll let you make the decision, but I've been loyal the whole way with you, so that's my pitch. <laughs> All right, Delaney. Um, I know I kind of wrote down your name. But there was no hard feelings. You were just like the easy target that round. But I also think our team tried like the hardest. We wrote, and we were new to the game too. And yeah, and we're gonna use the money to go camping, which is a good reason. <laughs> I got my decision. I can talk through it. Yeah, I mean, go ahead. But you both are worthy of going to the final vote. Um, I mean, it's tough. I feel, I feel bad either way. But I think we can go with Colton just because he was loyal to me through the whole time, steady ally, and you know I gave him my word that I would. All right. Unfortunately, Delaney, you have to come over to the last one of the jury. Give Delaney a round of applause. She played her heart out. Unfortunately, Delaney, Michael has spoken. Oh! <laughs> Alright, so if you guys are the jury members now, so there's seven of you. If you guys want to hang out over there and talk amongst yourself for like five minutes about maybe what you guys want to ask, each person individually will be asking questions to the final two. Whatever you want. Um, so if you guys want to talk amongst yourself for five minutes, then we'll come over here. That's true. Mm -hmm. Colton did, did, did not get a single vote this whole game. No, he didn't, actually. So, that's something to take note of. Well, Mike had a, a bit more strategic side on him, rather than Colton just kind of floating his way to the end. That's, yeah, that's my take on it. So, yeah, go for his feet. One challenge at the very end, but then Mike won the very last one. Yeah, so. I think I want to ask um, what their strategy was. I want to see from that what, what Colton's strategy was, if he actually had a strategy or if he really was just the kind of floating along. Nice and guy, and I it think worked. they were just. <laughs> and it worked. Yeah. They, they were, were in the first kind of tribe play. together, yeah. and I think they just bonded together. Yeah, mm -hmm. They kind of played the same game pattern. Right? Well, we tried to keep yeah, it. We're very similar. Yeah. 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 yeah, so I think it comes down like personally. Yeah. 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 He knew he was screwed. Yeah, I know. There was no chance. Yeah. I think that like my biggest thing is I kind of want the person who did the most strategy and tried to play the game the most to win as well. Yeah. So I think that we should like point our line of questioning to see who's most like deserving of actually winning. Let me see what they're gonna use in my forum. Oh. Okay. Smart. I mean, so if they had an IO. Hmm? What did you say? No, what they're gonna use the money for? Oh, money mm -hmm. for. Yeah. So yeah, I just. Whoever has the best reason is my vote. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's pretty much all it is. I just want to know who did best. Yeah. Like, it was about how they played the game, not what they were doing for money. Yeah. Like, you can ask, a, ask that good. question, yeah. but ultimately it is about like how they played the game and whatever angle you would look at it. There's multiple angles, so. Yeah. I think uh, we should ask, um, I think I might ask what they do differently again in the future. I was going to think, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. a good question. Like, Probably nothing. They're the final two. <laughs> I know, they still could have a better strategy from what they could mm -hmm. understand more. So, let's bring in our seven jury members. First up, she got a lot of personality. She got a lot of game. Amelia. Woo! Yeah! Thank you. <laughs> you can sit down. Next up, Maddie. She's been taking notes, taking names. Made it very far this time. Woo! Give it on so much. We got Isabella, who was cruising through this game. Won a couple immunities, and then an idol got her out. Give it up for Isabella. Next up, 
Mr. Idol King made a big move, but it got him out the next round. It's Alex. <laughs> Talking about Challenge Beast, my cousin Tegan had a great game, and she's their next jury member here. This guy Stein, he's been through hell. He's played three other times before this. It's never worked out. He finally made the Furge merge. He won a challenge. He won and played an idol, maybe not correctly, but he played it and he found it. Stein, I hope your dreams almost came true. Give it up, guys. And last, but certainly not least, Miss Nirvana herself, Delaney, who outlasted all of her friends, played a killer game, was a puzzle queen, and Pretty damn good at lying, ain't gonna lie. <laughs> right. Delaney, give it up for him. Colton, if you want to give your pitch first of these jury members, why you think you deserve to win, you can stand up and if you want, if you want to sit. All right, make it official. <laughs> um, well, I may not have won the most challenges out there, but I feel like I stay true to my word to a lot of you guys. <laughs> even though I had to do it a few times to get here. <laughs> but, and stay true to Michael. So I feel like that's the, my big strong suit as to why I should win. Stay true. And I, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> All right, thanks. Play it honest. <laughs> honest. Honest. All right, Michael. I think I played a pretty honest game as well, about as honest as you can play. Um, I mean, sometimes you have to use deception to win, but um, you know, I was low with my allies, Scott Colton here, um, and just throughout, like I, I was almost never on the losing side of the vote. I was always making alliances, almost always the winning alliances. The only time that really didn't happen is when Isabella got blindsided, one of my crucial allies, and then you know I went and got my get back right after that. And like throughout all the challenges, I came in second a bunch of times, like two or three times. And finally, when I needed to win right at the end, I was able to do that, so. All right, thanks, Michael. First up, Amelia. All right, well, I'm gonna ask both of you the same question here. Um, I wanna know next time, what will you do differently? What have you learned from this experience? Colton, you wanna go first? Um, I think since this was my first time playing, I was really just trying to feel it out the whole way, and I think that like kind of benefited me this time because I was coming in blind. So next time, maybe try and form some alliances earlier on rather than try and fly under the radar. Yeah. But. Yeah, I think for me, like one very specific thing would actually be puzzles because <laughs> that um, oh, on, a, on a challenge with, with me and Colton, <laughs> we had like a huge head start. I ended up losing because of the puzzles, so that was that's uh, you know a good turn of events for me to kind of redeem myself winning the puzzle at the end, and so I'd probably work on that because that was a big component. And just throughout the game, I'd say try to like branch out and talk to more people to kind of make more alliances and to not be as like blindsided if things go awry. All right, all right. Is that it? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Thanks. All right, Maddie. Um, this is probably going to be a little selfish question, but I'm always curious because I like to like take notes obviously and mm -hmm. kind of like redo my game and like look at other people's games. So just like from your perspective, obviously there's different alliances and stuff, but what was, what was the process in voting for me if you did um, and how that affected your game or like moving forward and the alliances? If that doesn't make sense, just mm -hmm. let me know how to no. rephrase it. Um, I can say with that one. You like threw out Isabella, who was my ally. So, mm -hmm. and you didn't throw out in fairness for that round, but you said, I forgot who we um, were talking about voting out, but you said, like, after that round, let's maybe take her out because she was winning challenges. Mm -hmm. And I thought, you know, well, that might be the case. Um, you know, she was my ally, and I wanted to stay with her. So, that was kind of partly the reason. And then also, um, like, I respected your game a lot with, like, making alliances and stuff. It seemed like you were talking a lot.
All right, Isabella. I don't have a question in mind. Uh, all right, so you guys have been very nice to one another, which is great, but why do you think you're better than the other person? Ooh. <laughs> well, Michael, go first. <laughs> I, I would yeah. say that, um, well, I mean, you saw at the end there when we needed to win, it was just by a split second when I got that. And throughout our whole lives, I think a lot of times it was kind of me leading with like, who should we vote for? And I'm getting Colton in alignment. So, um, you know, in that way, I think it was kind of more myself like taking charge with that. Okay, you said a lot this there. So, what do you have to say? <laughs> um, hmm. I was say, this is a be selfish. Yeah, it could be me. Be selfish. <laughs> be selfish. Personal. I don't know. I think we just thought we worked well together. But I don't, I don't really know. <laughs> You're so nice. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> what makes you better? You're nicer than him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> You two played kind of a similar game to one another. You both won one community each. You both um, were kind of nice, but also fast. I mean, at, 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 at the same time, <laughs> which is great. Colton, you have zero votes against you in this whole game so far. That is amazing. Just just five points votes have been voted this season. That is something I respect a lot about that. Just your ability to just play this insane social game with everybody. Um, Mike, um, I feel like you really stepped up this season rather than, than the past two seasons. You've learned a lot from those past two seasons, and I really respect that from you. My, my one question is, what big moves did you guys do separately from, from one another that really influenced the game? Well, one, one was, um, <laughs> well, for them, yeah. yeah. In, in their opinion, what big moves did they make? Yeah. One, one was a bit, um, end up being a bit unnecessary, but I'm the one that orchestrated the move of having the triple split vote to get you out, just in case you were not bluffing and playing in Unity Idol, or had some other kind of weird advantage or something. Because um, at that point, I basically said like, hey, let's get through you or side out. And then we were all just going to vote for you and hope that you didn't have anything, but I thought, oh, what if you played an Idol, what if you gave it to side? So um, I orchestrated just like last minute a three-way split with that. Uh, I think the big move for me was <laughs> unfortunately orchestrating getting peaked in that way <laughs> and making sure we like we're all lined up there to, <laughs> to get the power <laughs> power play. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Alex. See you again. <sighs> no hard feelings. I'm not gonna. You both voted for me. I'm just. We're not considering that. <laughs> My question is, what are you going to use the money for? Take us a call after dinner. Oh. <laughs> oh. Um, I'll, I'll buy my parents dinner with the money. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, this guy! No, no! <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'm going to feed no. the homeless. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alright, so thanks, Steven. Like, yeah. <laughs> Alright, stag. So, I don't have a question. <laughs> you know, when, when you're like one of the last people to go and then everybody asks all the different mm -hmm. questions, I'm just kind of like, well, shoot. But I do, to reiterate some points, I do respect the game that y'all played. Y'all made the early lines and you stuck to it. And you know, all of us, in one way or another, had alliances as well. And you guys managed to overcome all of us. And I just want to, I just want to ask you, I suppose, how, how do you think you managed to outlast the rest of the alliances in the, in the game? Well, I think for me, like I said, I was on the, the winning side of just about every vote besides Isabella. So for me, it was about um, like crafting alliances, even as you had all these like swaps and merges happening, um, just making sure that there was never any doubt that I was always on the majority and always kind of like leading where the votes would go. So I just made sure to like really try and control the votes for my side. Yeah, I think similarly, since we were <laughs> kind of kind of working together, we both wanted to make sure we 
if there were any rumblings about the other, we made sure to let the other know and then just play play social and get to know everyone so that <laughs> there's not a big target on either one of our backs. Fair enough. Thank you guys. Thanks. Congratulations. Yeah. All right. Last, Delaney. Just trying to uh, stay in the game in August. How could you like trust some of the people that you were telling you all these lies? Like, like what made you believe them? Yeah, that's hard. It's a really good question. <laughs> I mean, the the one thing is, I tried to keep my my mind like what the narrative was that I was trying to say. Like, if um, like I was trying to vote like, just for example, like Alex out. And then, like, Alex like would tell me, like, oh, let's vote, like, Delaney out. Mm -hmm. Then it's like, I kind of know those are, like, the two main narratives. And then if I talk to you, and it's like, oh, I'm thinking maybe Alex. I kind of know those are, like, the two ways it's most likely going to go, unless there's something, like, weird going on with you two. So in that way, I try to just keep track of, like, what are the most likely possibilities of, like, not just what's, like, option A, but what's option B. Um, because sometimes I didn't trust where the vote would go at all, but I felt confident, like, if the main vote I'm thinking falls through, that then the second option would also, like, keep me safe. I think my thing is, and as many of you heard when we were discussing for who we would vote out, I would say lock it in. <laughs> <laughs> and then, <laughs> if people said they were locked in, then I would kind of like count in my head how many people we were supposed to have votes for. <laughs> and then that, that wasn't foolproof, but that helped me know, <laughs> like narrow it down to who I could trust based on who I was, who locked in their vote with me. So. Yeah. All right, thank you, Delaney. All right, and before we vote, you guys will be voting for who you think should win. We're going to give Coleman and Mike one last chance to uh, give it a little closing argument why they should win. So, Mike, you can go first. Yeah. Um, I would just say, like, I think I played a pretty honest game, but then, you know, I was cunning when I had to be. Um, you know, I stuck with my allies. I got revenge for my allies <laughs> when I had to. Um, you know, and I, I think I played a lot of the challenges strong, and ultimately, like, I won when it mattered most, uh, the most pressure, and that was it, how it's able to get here. All right, thanks, Mike. All right, Paul, off. Yeah, I think, I think like Alex said, I, I have not had a vote cast for me the entire way here. So, it <laughs> means I kind of had to do something, right, to, which I didn't even think of that as, like, a problem. But, yeah, and then, like I said, we've stayed loyal to each other the whole way. Stay loyal to most of you until we needed to <laughs> to be unloyal. But um, yeah, like he stepped up when it counted to get me here, and I stepped up to get to the final three, <laughs> and then up our odds to get each other here. And so, all right, thanks, Colton. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so one by one, you guys will take one last long journey down there, make it a memorable last boating confessional over there. So. Um, Amelia, we can follow Richie over there. We'll get it going. So I think that I'm going to have to make a really hard decision here because when I first started out on my main team of the Kraken, both of those boys were real nice to me and I didn't have any, any reason to not trust them and they both played a very good game. I feel as if Colton was very, very honest, but I think that Michael um, had a lot more strategy and took more lead with it. So I think... I'm gonna have to be going with that. I feel like this is obvious. I'm gonna... Wait, now we're picking the winner, right? Yeah. Not voting out, so this is who I want to win. Yeah. Okay. I'm picking Michael, not just because he's my boyfriend, but also because he did a good job today. So, that's why. I don't really have much more to yap about. So, that's it. Um, so, what I'll say is, Mike answered my great question almost perfectly. He explained what I didn't know, which was the 3-3-3 push, no sorry, 2-2-2 push vote that 
I thought we did, but Mike did, which is probably mm, one of the better orchestrated votes of the season. But I, I, I respect Colton's game of not getting a single vote in this game, which is again, that's like something only the, the winners do. Back again. Back no again. Vote. I'm not voting for him because I don't know how to spell Colton. But he might be the nicest guy probably here, so. I think he deserves a couple votes to his name in the end. And he nobody did vote for him, and he went with my plan every time. So you know what, I gotta give him respect for that. I think he deserves at least one, so I'm just gonna go for him. Man, what a beautiful day. Oh, I didn't think I would make it this far, and I'm so glad that I did. I gotta say, it's been a lot of fun playing with these fellas. And I made it a choice when it was the final five when I had won the immunity challenge. I made the choice to uh, write down Tegan's name instead of Mike, and who's to say that could have went differently than how this has gone, but there is something commendable about not getting a single vote. So, Colton, you have earned mine. Whatever happens, I don't think this is the last you've seen of Semi. Time to read the last votes of the night. Before I read the votes, so you guys do want to hear your name. If you hear your name, that's good. Whoever has most votes will win the game. Before I start, I just want to thank especially Richie and Kyle for helping me plan this season. I really appreciate it. Yeah. Wow. Right, so it. It's a pleasure. Amla, I really appreciate you. Doing more than I thought you, I would need you to do. I really appreciate you all with challenges, interviewing, taking awesome pictures. You did pretty much everything, so I really appreciate that. The Dolphin, Sam, and Matt aren't here, but they definitely helped out a little bit too, so I appreciate that. And then, yeah, I appreciate you guys all for coming out and playing, and I. No, like explaining it and trying to get people to come here is a, is a tough task sometimes because it's hard to really give a full feel over text what this little day is. So, Keegan, I'm really glad you convinced your friends to come, even though some of them didn't really get a fair chance, I think, in the game. I think for the most part, you guys definitely left your mark in our little thing. So, I appreciate you guys coming out and playing. So, yeah. yeah. So, all you guys, this is a really fun season. I, to be quite honest with you, like I, you can ask Rich and Kyle, I was a little nervous how it's gonna go because a lot of you guys haven't played before. I thought you guys would be almost too confused how the game works, but you guys picked up on it really quick and you made it entertaining, you made it fun, some crazy things happened, some fun challenges. So you don't have to clap for this one, but I just I really appreciate you guys all uh, all coming out and playing and let's read these votes, see who wins. 120 bucks in this little treasure chest. Woo! Woo! Yes! Yeah, <laughs> All right, you want to hear your name. First vote, Michael, 1 0 Michael. Second vote, Colton, 1 1. Third vote, Mike, 2 1 Mike. Fourth vote, Colton, tied again, 2 2. Fifth vote, Michael, 3 2 Michael. Sixth vote, Colton, 3 3. <laughs> one vote left. The winner of the $120 in Season 5 of Survivor Wisconsin, Captain's Curse, Mike. Oh! 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 It's a very hard decision between the both because they have been my allies throughout the whole game. And yeah, they both played the game very well, like fair and square. I don't know, they were always on my side for everything. So it's super hard, but I think I'm gonna vote for Colton to win just because, I don't know. He it, There's a reason why he wasn't voted once this game. Well, Mike, I've played three seasons with you. 
we've both made it far this time around and I think it's, it's your time to win. So I'm one for you, Mike. Honestly, they both had a good game. I think Mike did just a little bit more and I might be a little bit biased because I played with him before. Um, I think I'll go with Mike. Either way, they both have to win. So.